But whenever this boss rush starts, and good thing it starts, I mean, I'm an hour in on my commentary. So that would mean that this is pretty much getting... This is pretty much going to be all in one part. But anyway, as soon as we get to the section that tells us what we need to do... So I'm pretty much looking forward to skipping through all of this because I have to edit it. I mean, I, I really don't want to have to comment through it, commentate through all of the bosses for the third time. Fuck that shit. <laughs> and it's not just bosses, it's enemies too. Just like uh, Death May Cry 3, they sprinkle them in. Like, oh, here's some enemies you fought before. I can deal with it. Anyway, that's our goal. That's our, our objective. But I will, um, well, actually, hold on. I was sitting there. I guess I'm counting them out. Oh, good thing I fucking missed it. On that one, because that was a three, not a four. If it is progress that you desire moving forward is what you will... That, uh, something's up that I forget. But anyway, I will see you guys at the end of the boss rush.
And we are back. You guys enjoy that boss rush? Well, because I, I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know what it's going to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But anyway, that, that's, that was pretty much, you know, it was that stage. That was what the whole stage was about. I, it's not like I needed to show off anything in particular and talk about anything in particular. It really wasn't anything to talk about. Was that cutscene actually necessary? I wonder. Was it actually necessary? But now... Oh, yes. The gold orb penalty. But now... We are on the final mission of Devil May Cry 4. Which is funny, because I was like, finally, we are done with all of these things, and I completely forgot about doing this. So this would actually be the final, the finish, the last bit of information and commentary that I can provide for the original Sons of Sparta. And I've apparently finished the game a lot faster, about an hour faster. And that was me actually trying to go through the game as quickly as I possibly can. La Vita, no new... I'm not even going to go for it. Not even going to try. Nova? Nuova? Who knows? But I'm just pretty much buying some items. Just, just in case. This boss can be a bit of a tough cookie. So... But destroy the evil Sanctus is mission 20. His name is Sanctus? I guess that's his name. That's, that's a stupid name. And this is not the final cutscene. I would just wish it was the final cutscene, but it's not. So, wait. so killing him, or trying to kill him, wasn't what pissed him off. I mean, I guess he was just confident that he wasn't going to get killed, because fuck that shit. Didn't seem very confident when he fucked up, though, down did he? Oh, uh, but, um, about this boss battle, needless to say, it's not... He has one extra attack compared to what he had before. Well, one or two. That may actually give you some trouble, but in all honesty, it's the same boss fight. You know, you grapple, you grapple, then you fucking attack a shield. Like, it's really not that difficult. In all honesty, you can holy water him for some serious fucking damage, uh, but the only thing is that you have to take his shield off when you do it. His shield has to be off, otherwise you get minimal amount of damage from doing so. I don't know if I show that off or not. 
But, um, once his shield's down, you, you hit him with holy water, that's fucking it. It's pretty much over once he's, like, half to, at half health. But, uh, he starts getting a little bit more evasive, too. I mean, that... I mean, needless to say, there's really not much to talk about this fight. He's just a souped-up version of his last boss fight. Which is almost disappointing. I don't know why the hell I kept missing all those attacks. Like I said, he's not that difficult to boss fight. The boss fight music for this game is... The final boss is not even epic. Whatsoever. I mean, I don't even know. It's not a, it's, I don't think anybody's will be as good as Arkham's or Virgil's final boss. Music, you know, for the final fight with Virgil. And again, that's why Devil May Cry 3 is probably still the best Devil May Cry game of all time. See, now, this is what I'm wondering if I, what I'm going to do, because I'm going to damage him. And then just fucking punch him in the face, which does a shitload of damage while in double trigger. But that goes without saying. Wait, do I throw holy water on him? Oh my god, I do! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, okay. But that's that's the extra damage right there. Okay, I was about to say, I know I have two of them, so I was just like, why didn't... I, I, know, I, I know I use... Okay, I didn't know if I used both of them on him, or just one... So yeah, that pretty much quickens or hastens the uh, the fight here, which is ironic because this is the part that actually takes the longest. Because with here, what I what I'm trying to do is figure out how in the fuck am I supposed to damage the guy? You know, should I do it while he's standing there, or or, or what? Because I have no idea. Even even to this day, it, it just seems really confusing with the time to attack him. Because every time when I break a shield, he'll go for that. And I guess I'm going for health now. Oh, double trigger. And health. Okay. Because I just was like, oh, fuck this. I don't want to die here. I don't want to have to do this all over again. Because I don't have any... I don't think I have any more golden orbs. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gave a shit. Yeah, but I, I don't think I have any more. I to say, he is fucking me up, though. But it's because those attacks are actually really fucking powerful. And I just keep walking into him. Oh, there we go. And that's pretty much the end of Sanctus. And that is... Ugh, that dynamic cutscene! Ugh, that... Why did I have to do it three times? But that was the final boss, guys. That was it. Not very impressive. And then, no, there is no other boss after this. That's it. That's literally it. There's nothing else in this game. That was the most anticlimactic ass-whooping I've ever seen. Am I not worthy? No, you're not, Gara. He sounds like Gara when he's mad. I don't even watch Naruto that much, and hey, that he sounds like that. Who is he voiced by? I, I, I'm I'm curious now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look this up. Let me look this shit up right now. Let me see. Uh. Let's go to Dove May Cry Wiki. Uh, did they even... Did they even say who he's voiced by? This voice actor is Liam O'Brien. Or O'Brien. Okay, so let's see who that is. The name's just not ringing a bell. Who is that? Because his voice sounds so familiar. Uh. Okay, he was in. Bleach. Oh, he was Gara. Okay, so I was right. He sounds. J that is fucking Gara. Jesus. I was right. <laughs> okay. That makes so much sense. A lot of sense, actually. Just a fucking shame. Yeah. So I, I, I okay. He is Gara. It's like just when he sounds mad, he sounds just like him. It's just like hey, there's no way that can't be him. I 
mean, obviously we know who Virgil or each. I mean, fuck it. God damn it. You know who I mean. Uh, Nero. You know who that is. The guy's voice is fucking famous. It's just fucking so godlike, so god tier. But yeah, it's all over. We're we gonna get a really feel good ending. I think we. W I think we just might. Look at that. He saves the girl, the busty lady. He's got the swords. I mean, hell. That must be really awkward to carry on your back like that. Which, to this day, I still don't understand how the fuck are you able to do that. Oh, but the bastard just doesn't want to. Now he grew a he grew a goatee. Oh, but yes. This is technically the final boss fight. Not really. He has no health. It's just pretty much a reaction time thing. And no prompts on the screen. It's pretty much self-explanatory as to what you were supposed to do. Uh, but I fucked it up because my timing was off. I think I do this like once more as well. As he yells at me. Ugh. Old man breath. And <laughs> I shot at him. <laughs> 